In this video, we'll discuss the new uh, fixed column widths and scrolling grid body feature of the grid component in version 11. So you can see he has a grid that has been designed uh, to uh, not using um, those two new features. You can see the grid has got uh, 30 rows and so uh, you need to scroll the page in order to see um, all of the rows in the grid. And then when, when I uh, sort the grid, you can see that the um, the size of the individual columns is adjusting automatically to uh, reflect the size of the uh, content uh, of of each column. So the grid the grid size uh, changes dynamically as um, uh, as it's sorted and as different data has been rendered. But you, you might want the gr your grid to have uh, fixed size columns all the time and uh, to scroll within a fixed size region on the page. So if we go back to design mode now we can see that uh, the grid has uh, new, um, new properties here. There's a, a grid body can scroll and uh, you can see here that it tells you that if you choose the grid body can scroll property, if you uh, check that, then you need to also turn on the property to set fixed column widths. So what we're going to do here is check the property to um, select fixed column widths. Now fixed column widths applies only to label controls. If, of course if you have text boxes uh, in a column or text areas or drop down boxes those columns already are fixed size because that's the nature of those um, HTML controls but label controls uh, result in dynamic column sizes unless you choose um, this property now which is new to version 11. So you can see here I'm going to say that all of my columns now are 1.2 inches and now I'm going to go and do overrides. So I can go and override uh, any one any of the columns. So I can go here and insert any of the columns if I want and then specify an override. So I'm saying here that description is 3 inches and product ID is 0.75 inches and I'm using uh, CSS syntax over here so you can see that uh, you can specify column widths in inches or pixels or centimeters or any uh, CSS um, uh, syntax is, is allowed over there and uh, in addition to specifying the widths of the, f um, the your columns you can also specify the width of uh, any of the system columns. So uh, that's the row selector and the row expander etc. But I'm going to just take those out and just leave them at their uh, default values. So now that I've turned on uh, grid control and also fixed column width, let's take a look now um, at this uh, grid. So you can see now that um, the grid is now um, a fixed size and as we go through uh, different pages the height of the grid doesn't change as we uh, sort in uh, different columns uh, there's no change in the width of the grid either and uh, here I can scroll the body of the grid and as I scroll the body of the grid the title stay uh, fixed in place and the summary values stay fixed in place uh, correctly aligned underneath the appropriate column. So the ability to uh, specify uh, grid scrolling and fixed column widths uh, can be an important uh, feature in creating just the right look for your grid components in version 11. Uh, thank you very much.